Hey guys, yeah, I'm finally uh, getting out of town, going camping. I'm going to do a quick little video here on how to uh, uh, hook up your camper or whatever trailer, uh, especially by yourself. It's always easier with another person, so here we go. Okay, you always want to know the tow rating of your vehicle. And one reason I bought, I bought this Grand Cherokee uh, is because it's got one of the highest tow ratings for an SUV out there. Um, it's 6,200 pounds, roughly, um, tra trailer weight. So uh, you want to make sure... This, this has a tow package. Um, two inch receiver with a, with a two inch ball. And uh, there's the rating of the hitch. So we're more than good. June bug only weighs about 13 or 1800 pounds. So uh, um, no problem there. This, this Jeep won't even know what's back there. Okay, let's get her backed up. Okay, you can see that I that I had it pretty pretty centered up already. Um, if I did not have my backup camera, which I'm going to show you how easy that is, but I will uh, look in the rear view mirror there. The wiper blade is the base of the wiper blade. That's pretty much the center. That's the ball hitch is going to be right below that, and I will uh, I will get as close as I can and uh, get in and out if I need to. You know, of course, if I had somebody back there, it'd be a lot quicker and easier, but uh, when I look here, when, how nice this is here, I can just, uh, you can see the ball hits right here in the camera. So I, I can get her really close like this. Okay, that's pretty damn close. Let me get out and check. Okay, I'm gonna crank it down here. I did I did flip this this uh, ball over so that so that it would be it, it was it was riding way too high the last time I had it connected hooked up. So uh, I flipped this over, gave us gave us about a two inch drop. Pull that up, and I am going to try and roll it forward here a little bit. And you do want to bring that up as high as it'll go, because especially when you're going uh, in uh, rugged roads, this will uh, hit the dirt if you don't. Okay, that's this has fully latched. So now I'm going to put my lock back through here.
Okay, now I was always taught to cross the chains um, when you're hooking them to the vehicle. Uh, that's because just, just in case something goes wrong here and the trailer becomes unhitched, you, you still got your chains hooked up and, and this will drop down in, into the chains. Um, I always, always taught that's the best way to do it. Now recently I heard another school of thought that, uh, that says that might not be good because this could, could want, hit, if it hit the pavement, could chop, chop these chains. I know, um, but that's, that's what their school of thought was. And then, and then you're not connected to anything, the trailer's gonna go off and hit something or somebody. And you know, if it's like this, then it's still at least gonna be connected to the chains. This will probably be uh, sparking on the ground, but at least it's connected to the chains. So, but I, I don't, I don't think there's much chance of uh, of this chopping the chains. So I'm going to put it like this because that's the way I like it. And uh, we can't forget our uh, lights. You'll notice there's a there's a slot right here. Well, that matches to this right here, and that this will lock in. So this is pinching on this, so this this will not pull out. I always like to just throw my my wheel just right inside the gate here, so when I get there, it's right there. Okay, just checking uh, all the lights before we hit the road here. Got the flashers on and the the headlights. Hard to test to uh, check the brake lights by myself, but I'm gonna trust that they're gonna work too. Um, okay, you guys. Well, we'll see you up there. God bless. Appreciate you, every single one of you. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Uh, just hit that little subscribe button. We're trying to get this channel monetized, and we're getting somewhat close. We get within uh, within a couple hundred, 250, something like that. And, but it's coming. It's coming fast. So appreciate you guys. And I'm gonna do a couple of videos uh, from up on the mountain too. See you soon.